Hello my loves, I hope you're all really really well, hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. Welcome to another Christmas gift guide. Today's gift guide is the ultimate B&M gift guide. Do you want to say gift guide any more times? So I popped over to B&M this week and they had so many affordable gifts for literally all the family. So if you haven't had a look in B&M already, would highly recommend because they have so much. And I picked up loads, like there's literally so much in front of me right now. But I picked up all my favorite pieces that I thought you guys would absolutely love to hopefully give you guys some ideas for what to get your loved ones this Christmas. So today's video is very kindly sponsored by Casetify. If you guys haven't heard of Casetify before, they sell the most beautiful phone cases. I am currently using this gorgeous cream one and it keeps my phone so protected. It's actually the iPhone 12, but they have the widest selection of cases for the new iPhone 13 in case you have that one or in case you're getting it for Christmas or getting it for someone for Christmas. I feel like a nice new phone case is a fabulous present. Casetify have the widest range of phone cases. They have mirror cases, they have glitter cases, they have so many different print cases as well. So if you are buying it as a gift, you can really find something that the person you're buying for would really love. They've got loads of really quirky different ones. Um, yeah, they've got loads of beautiful prints. They also have leather cases. And also as well, you can actually personalize your phone case, which I feel like makes a really lovely, just thoughtful gift for someone. Um, I have a few actually with my name on. You can choose what it says, you can choose the font, the color, the placement of the text, and I just think that's a really great little feature. So my favorite cases, if I had to pick one from Casetify, it would be the impact cases. These cases will protect your phone and I feel like that's really important to me. Literally drop your phone from so high. With the new iPhone 13 cases, you can actually drop them from, I think it's 9.8 feet, which is crazy. So the new Impact and Ultra Impact cases are actually made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, which is amazing. Also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. And also on the Impact and Ultra Impact cases, they have a feature called Densify, I think I'm saying that right, but basically what it does is it's a coating on your phone case that will kill 99% of bacteria. A few new phone cases to quickly show you guys and everything from Case Divide comes in a lovely box. This is what would make such a lovely gift. So I got this print case which is so pretty, it's got these little flowers on. Like I said, Case Divide has got loads of different print cases. Then I also as well picked up this plain black phone case. I love my plain phone cases and as you can see I've personalized it with my name which is such a cute little touch. Case to as well have bought out some new 90s inspired phone straps which are so cute. So there is a matte one like this rainbow how cute i think these would make such a cute stocking filler and they also as well have the glossy rainbow phone strap i feel like this one's my favorite so cute i think these would look so cute in like a little mirror picture i just think they're so pretty and they take me back to my childhood so my loves i will leave a direct link down below for case to fight in case you fancy your brows like i said an amazing christmas gift for someone and also if you click on the link it will get you 15% off your order. Okay, I'm gonna start with these gorgeous stockings that I found. I feel like these are the nicest stockings I've ever seen in B&M, and they had loads left. So if you are looking for this in particular stocking, definitely go like sooner rather than later, because last year they had some very similar to this, but they were gone like so quickly. So how gorgeous are these? I just think these look so luxurious, so expensive, they feel beautiful. They were four pounds and they actually had my initial, which is never a thing. There's never my initial left. And they had a G and a J for Gemma and Jamie. I think these are just so gorgeous. They remind me of Santa's costume with the velvet. And yeah, I just think they are really beautiful. Really beautiful. They also had as well, big um, Santa sacks that were like this too to keep presents in, which I think would just look so gorgeous under the tree. I am gonna be doing a B&M stocking filler gift guide separately, um, and that one will be live in the next few weeks, so keep your eyes peeled for that. How gorgeous is this? So this is a 
same as the stockings. Velvet, it just feels so, so expensive. It was two pounds. And I just think this is such a easy way to make like a bottle of wine or a bottle of someone's favorite drink, just a little bit more special. So yeah, J for Jamie, I'm gonna be putting his bottle of wine in there. And then the last personalized thing I picked up were these slippers. Are these just not the the slippers of Christmas? These are the most Christmassy slippers I've ever seen. Now, they did only have a size small left, which was size three to four. I am a size four to five, but I don't mind if my toes are a bit squashed. Uh, it is worth it for these slippers. <laughs> they have got non-stick on the bottom and they just look so cozy. They didn't have many of these left, hence why I got a size too small but, oh, I just love them. I think these would make such a gorgeous stocking filler. Um, I always get some kind of socks or slipper socks to pop in a stocking because I feel like it really bogs it out. Okay, next up I picked up a few different mugs. I think a Christmas mug is such a cute gift. Um, I personally love to receive Christmas mugs. It's one of my favorite things. And I think what you can do is you can either buy the gift sets with the hot chocolate or you can create your own. You can pop their favorite hot chocolate in there, um, some marshmallows and get some cellophane and some ribbon and stuff. But what I will say is when you are in B&M, don't just look at the Christmas gifts for Christmas gifts. Like have a look around the actual entire shop because I saw so many things in there. I saw an iced coffee maker, which was like 30 pounds. I always think like a toasty maker is a cool gift, a pancake maker. Um, I have heard as well that B&M have a velvetizer, a hot chocolate velvetizer. So yeah, definitely have a look like all over the whole shop. Don't just focus on the Christmas gifts. So I picked up these two mugs, which I have seen everyone with. I've been desperate to get my hands on these. And the first one I got says, cozy up with a hot hug. I just thought this was so cute. And this was two pounds. And the next one I picked up is time to get cozy. My favorite time of day. Then I also picked up, this is actually for my mum's stocking. You guys know me and mum do each other a Christmas stocking every year. We have made a pact that we will do this for the rest of our lives. Um, and my mum's stocking is like my favorite thing to do. She's so easy to buy for and like, she just loves like little bits and pieces. So that is one of my favorite things to do at Christmas. So I've already collected quite a few things, but look at this hedgehog cookie mug just thought it was so adorable my mum loves hedgehogs like we have a bit of an obsession with hedgehogs and I just thought this was just unbelievably cute she also loves as well very small cups because when she has a cup of coffee or tea she has like half a cup so she loves small cups um, and this was £3.50 they had quite a few different animals of these so I had to pick up a hot chocolate mug I feel like these are such a great gift for literally anyone such a fab secret santa gift for anyone at work i really like this one because it's a nice big size mug you can get like a nice big hot chocolate in there um i love that it had like a little cup cozy on there thought that was really cute and it also has as well hot chocolate and luxury mini mallows again great stocking filler it was only four pounds or also such a great secret santa gift um as well they had also these in a few different colors they had a pink one um, I think a baby blue one as well. So another little stocking filler idea, I found these vanilla flavored penguin marshmallows. These would be great stocking filler, like I said, or they would be great to go with one of your mugs as a little hot chocolate set. And I just thought they were so cute. They've got little penguins on. Okay, this next thing is a little bit random, but I would love to receive these in my stocking. Genuinely would be over the moon. And that is some Christmas minkies. I know what you're thinking. Do I want to receive a cleaning cloth in my stocking? The answer is yes, because they're Christmas and they're minky. So this one's got penguins on, super cute. And this one's got little robins on. I'm actually gonna put this one in my mum's stocking. So Merry Christmas, Debs. You're getting a minky cloth in your stocking. Whilst on the topic of cleaning, B&M had loads of um like christmas scented cleaning products i posted a little reel on my instagram of all the new in bits and i included some of the christmas cleaning bits so if you haven't seen that um i'll pop my instagram on screen so you can have a look but yeah they had like sugar plum flash they had loads so 
best believe there's gonna be a Christmas clean coming very soon. Next up, I found this Winter Spice Christmas candle. I think this is gorgeous. I think it looks so pretty. Again, a candle. Tis the season to burn all the candles. And I just think, again, great gift. Great secret Santa. And also just like a nice little thing to pop in maybe someone's like Christmas box. Also as well, if you're creating a Christmas Eve box or a hamper, this would be great to go in there. Okay, let's stick with edible gifts for now because I've got a lot of edible gifts. Um, I just think it's, it's the season for eating, guys, you know. It's the season for overindulging and I just think edible things are a great gift. So, guys, you already know, uh, I say this every year. But in case you didn't know this fact, me and my mum, whenever we see anything snowman, like the snowman related, we have to buy it for each other. So, B&M had the snowman fox's biscuits. And do you know what sold it to me? This little wrapped one, every single year, me and my mum always fight over the wrapped biscuit. Usually only one isn't there. Oh, actually, I think this might be a double layer. It might be my lucky Christmas. But when there's only one of these, we're both like, oh, you have it, no, you have it, no, you have it. When secretly we both want it. I just thought, look, it's got little snowmen on it. I just thought this was so cute. Speaking of the snowman, I picked up these last year. I'm kind of sad, it's got a little rip in it. I feel like I might have done that when it was in my basket, but it's fine. Um, and these are the snowman and the snow dog. I can't wait to watch that. Honestly makes me cry every single year. Um, so cute, like what a cute film that is. Um, so Snowman and Snow Dog, marshmallows, they're each individually wrapped so you could open these and use them in a few different stockings. You could pop these in people's presents as kind of like just a little something to eat. Next, I picked up this little box of chocolates. I thought this would be so nice in a stocking. I think it was like two pounds. I just loved how festive it looks. It looks like something you get in like Harrods. Do you know what I mean with like the gold bow? just think it's lovely and it's got a really nice selection of chocolates in there as well. Kind of reminds me of Matilda, you know. I don't know why. It gives me like Matilda chocolate box vibes. And I picked up this Reese's gift tray. These are so fabulous. B&M had so many of these, like different types of ones. They had Galaxy ones, Malteser ones, um, just like so many different ones. I think this is just so nice for anyone that like has a little bit of a Reese's obsession. There are so many different ones in here. There are white Reese's buttercups. Oh, I love those. Reese's sticks, Reese's pieces, Reese's Nut, nut rager, nut raging. I don't know what that one is, but I've never seen that one before. But yeah, so many different ones. This was four pounds. Next, I picked up this Galaxy Hot Chocolate Station. Can't go wrong with a hot chocolate. Um, this was four pounds, and inside, I loved all these little bits that you get. So inside, you get snowflake sprinkles, Galaxy chocolate drops, festive confetti dots, green Christmas tree sprinkles pink and white marshmallows and snowflake marshmallows. So you get all of these bits, which I thought was really nice for a hot chocolate set. Usually you just get your hot chocolate and your marshmallows. So I thought this was just something a little bit, a little bit more. This was giving me like Christmas night vibes. We're feeling festive. We've had a roast dinner. We've opened our presents. We've had a fabulous day. And it's time to settle down, watch a Christmas film with the fam, make them all a hot chocolate with all, all the trimmings in their new Christmas mug that you've got them from B&M. Does that not sound like the best Christmas ever? I picked up a skillet baking set. These are fabulous. They're four pounds. B&M, again, have so many different like type of ones. I got the Kinder one. I think these are great. They're super easy to make. You literally, the ingredients are on the back, but you just pop them all in the skillet and then cook it actually in the pan. You don't even need the oven. It's just something that you can do in between Christmas and New Year as a really yummy treat. Next, I picked up this chocolate dipping set. It was four pounds. And inside of here, you get your dark milk and white chocolate in the middle in a, like a little ramekin. Then you also get some little tongs, some chocolate pieces. I think a bit of fluff just went up my nose. Shortbread biscuits, marshmallows, and some kind of like cookies there. Again, thought this would be something nice to do on Christmas evening. And I feel like this would make a good gift for like 
grandparents. I don't know why. I just feel like it's a very like nan and granddad kind of gift. Okay, the last edible gift I picked up is probably my favorite out of everything. And it is this movie night box. I think these are amazing. I think they're a great gift for couples. I feel like couples are very hard to buy for. Um, and I just think this is just such, I love the idea of this. So inside of here, you get your big bag of popcorn. You also get two of these as well, which I think, I just feel like it'd be so much nicer sitting down to a film with one of these instead of like a big bag of popcorn. And then you also get your pick -a mix as well. Love me a pick -a mix I think what you could do for a really cool couple's kind of like gift, you could make a hamper. You could pop this in there. You could pop maybe some of their favourite films in there. You could also as well maybe get like, I don't know, a Nando's voucher, Prezzo voucher, like some kind of food voucher. So they can make, like you could call it like a date night hamper. And you could get them the voucher for the restaurant, something like this maybe some cozy socks for them each, maybe a mug for them each with some hot chocolate, and it could be like their date night hamper box. I've literally just thought of that. Off the top of my head, I've thought of that gift, and I might do that for every couple that I've got to buy for this year. Or I've thought of another idea. You could get a cinema voucher to go with this and like pop it in there. Um, so they can go to the cinema, they can take their popcorn and their pick -a mix and they can save themselves an absolute fortune by not buying any food from the cinema because let's be honest, that's the most expensive bit. Okay, moving on from all the edible gifts, I'm very hungry now. Um, okay, this is something that I feel like was very, I feel like everyone wanted it like last year before the Dyson Airwrap came out and that is this air styler. Guys, I have this and I also have the Dyson Airwrap. Now, I love the Dyson Air Up because I feel like you can do lots of different things with it. Like, there are lots of different attachments. But, what I will say is, the hot brush tool with the Dyson Air Up, this one is better. By far. I feel like it's bigger. I feel like you can pull harder on it and really get, like, the flick. So if you love to have like really volumized hair, you love to have like a bit of a flick at the ends or like curl it under, this is such a great tool. It's £16, which is a fraction of a price of the Dyson Air Up, like such a cool alternative. b &M had quite a lot of hair tools actually. They had the matching hair dryer and also straighteners, so you could actually like make a little like hair bundle that would still be a fraction of the Dyson Air Up. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Dyson Air Up, but for a, more, for a more affordable, realistic kind of price range, these are great. Okay, next one is for the boys. Now, I feel like the guys' selection of gifts were nowhere near as like big as the girls' selection. Definitely easier to buy girls' gifts in B&M, but they did have quite a lot of Xbox gifts, PS, is it PS5 or 4? I have no idea. I feel like it's PS5. PS, PS PlayStation gifts? Um, they had things like very specific to someone's likes. Um, they had quite a lot of Peaky Blinders stuff. They had Harry Potter stuff. So if you know someone that like loves a certain thing, oh my god, you will love like getting the gifts from B&M because you can get some really cool stuff. But a few things that I picked up that I felt like would probably relate to the most guys, I guess. So first things first, I picked up this gaming headset. It was £12. I don't really know what to say about this because um, I don't really know much about gaming. So I feel like, is this a good gift? If any guys would like to tell me or if you can ask your boyfriends, is this a good gift? Um, I feel like, it's a gaming headset, like, it's pretty straightforward, but it was £12, and I think it's a nice little gift, I think. <laughs> I picked up a virtual reality headset, it was £8, and a, it says, virtual reality headset, a real 3D experience for gaming and movies. Now, obviously, I'd be the more movies bit, but... I thought this was cool. These are like so expensive to buy, not from B&M. So I thought this would be nice. I thought this would be nice to get a guy and they can kind of like 
fiddle about with it on Christmas Day. I always think stuff like that is nice. Um, that they can kind of like use on Christmas Day. You know, if they're feeling very antisocial, they can just put this on their head and block out their family. If you, if you, you don't get on with your family at Christmas, the virtual reality headset has got you. Another couple's gift. I found this, the ultimate couples quiz. They had loads of cool little games like this, which again, I feel like are fabulous for Christmas day. Great for stocking fillers, great for secret Santas. I like that one this year, great for secret Santa. I do think it is though. B&M is the place to go for secret Santa gifts. I thought this couples quiz looked good and I actually think we are gonna play this on Christmas day. Um, but yeah, it was four pounds. They had all sorts of ones, sports quizzes, movie quizzes, TV program quizzes, football quizzes. Okay, next I picked up this star projector. We actually have one of these from Amazon and it's so cool. Like if you're having a movie night, it just kind of like sets the mood and it just, it really feels quite relaxing. Um, this was three pounds and yeah, I just thought this would make like quite a nice different gift. Yeah, these are great for movie nights. They're also great just to have on if you are just trying to chill out a little bit, um, read a book. They are really relaxing. Or you could totally have it in the bathroom when you're having a bath. Like a bath under the stars. Yes, please. Next, I picked up a beard and nose trimmer, two in one set. It was $2.99. I just think you can't go wrong. Christmas trim of your nose hair. New man for the new year. Okay, this next one is one of my faves. I really, really like this. So this is the Heat and Eat Mini Treat Maker. I love this. Like, I just think this is such a cool thing to receive. Um, also, guys, they had slush puppy makers. So you can make cookies, pancakes, eggs, and burgers. Like, what a, what a wide range of food that you can make from this one little treat maker okay next i picked up this donut tray which is actually bath bombs and i thought it was super cute nothing like a bath bomb for christmas bnm also had loads of um like shower sets like loads of shower sets for guys like they had nivea dove like all of those kind of bits loads of links um they had loads of bits for girls as well. Loads of like makeup sets and like skincare sets that were super affordable. These are all individually wrapped. So again, if you are doing like a few stockings, you can get all of these out and just pop them in individually. I think that would be a really nice thing to have in a stocking. Okay, the last gift I picked up from B&M is this coffee topper collection. How cool. It was three pounds. You get your little stencil here. You also get cocoa powder, chocolate sprinkle, cinnamon powder and vanilla sugar and for any coffee lovers i just thought this was a nice little gift so my loves that is everything i picked up from b &M. i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i still have a few more gift guides coming i have my ultimate primark gift guide which i'm really looking forward to um i also have a stocking filler gift guide and yeah loads of festive videos still to come make sure you hit subscribe don't forget to like this video and thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a lovely weekend and i'll see you on wednesday bye bye